Peace family, Queen here. All right, in this video, just want to chat really, really quickly about um, what's taking place with the Bitcoin bull run heating up. So we're looking at the charts here. We see the Bitcoin has now uh, gone way surpassed the all-time high. So we're at 72,376 or so here. It wicked up as high as, um, looks like, 70. Three, four. Um, so he, here's the deal, right? So we are um, coming up on the halfening, right? That's going to happen uh, the 210,000 block uh, that's mined, and that's sometime uh, in April, late April. So the supply of Bitcoin that's being produced right now is 900 Bitcoins. And then uh, once the happening happens, it will be down to 450 Bitcoins per day that are produced, that are open. Uh, in the market, you know, to trade, buy, and all of that. So with the uh, spot Bitcoin ETFs actually sucking up all of the daily Bitcoin supply, we, it's, it's, it's really, it would be shocking to me if we did not see um, $100,000 Bitcoin before summer. It would be really, really, really shocking to me, right? So um, at any rate, you know, looking at all of this data, and looking at uh, the the onslaught of the demand for Bitcoin because of the spot Bitcoin ETFs, um, and another thing too, hundred thousand dollar mark for Bitcoin is a pivotal point uh, for this asset. And, and what I mean by that is, when this asset gets to a hundred thousand dollars, you're going to see a lot more interest in the asset once it gets to a hundred thousand dollars right so right now we have the uh you know the bitcoin etfs they're purchasing you know hundreds of millions per day ongoing uh for forever you know and in this particular this capital is not a a buy and trade type of scenario these are buy and hold situations right so this institution of capital is coming in is buy and hold situations meaning that uh the price points uh will be more stable per se because of the fact that the ETFs are buying and holding for years and years and years. So again, when this gets to, uh, when Bitcoin gets to 100,000, I believe, in my opinion, we're going to see even more capital flow in from institutional funds because the, the, uh, the uh, liquidity is going to be a lot higher and the asset value is going to be a lot higher. So one of the things you have to think about when you look at institutional capital, if the market size for the asset is too small, they're not going to get involved because they would completely move the market, right? But because we are now, let's see, let's go to live. Uh, let me go here. Let's go live coin watch. And let's see. We're over. All right. So you see Bitcoin here. We're over 1.3 tr uh no, no, I'm sorry, right here, the market cap, right? So we're over 1.42 trillion, right? So as this number grows into the trillions, there's going to be more and more institutional capital that will want to get in and get exposure to this asset, okay? As the price rises, more and more interest is going to increase because of that. And the reason why I'm stressing that is because this is going to be at some point a runaway train with no brakes at some point okay so you have for the first time in history right for the first time in financial history you have the opportunity to be in front right as a retail investor you have the opportunity to be in front of this wall of capital that you already know it's it's buying every day the spot Bitcoin ETFs but then once we hit hundred thousand then 200,000, then 250,000, 300,000, more and more and more and more eyeballs and interest are going to want to come in and suck up this Bitcoin. So why am I telling you all of this? I'm telling you all of this because this is an opportunity in my time. I, I feel like, uh, in my opinion, this is an opportunity of a lifetime for anyone to, you know, to become, you know, financially free, to become wealthy beyond your wildest imagination, if you play your cards right. Right. But if you just look at it and say, oh, yeah, I was there, you know, when Bitcoin was, you know, 72,000. I, I remember those days. But what did you do about it? Right. What did you do to secure 
your financial future as well as your children's children's financial future. What did you do? That's the question. That's the question that the great great grandchildren are going to ask you. They're not going to say, were you there? They're going to know you were there. They're going to say, what did you do to capitalize on this? So here is uh, some suggestions, right? Uh, with my number one project, there is a strategy. Let's go over here. There is a strategy that you can utilize to get to 308 Bitcoin in uh, two and a half years, right? I'm going to show you here on the financial calculator real quick. Then you can go and uh, you can pull down the PDF. You can study it up. You can do your own research, do your due diligence, do everything that you need to do so you can make uh, the proper decision for you and your financial future. All right, so let's do this, right? So this strategy, again, it's a two and a half year strategy, right? And just know that even though this shows a dollar sign, I'm going to show you how this, this still gives the right calculation. So we're going to put 0.15 because that is the starting uh, uh, decimal point uh, for the for the deposit for this Bitcoin strategy. OK, I have uh, two different other strategies. This is a Bitcoin strategy. This is for people that love Bitcoin. This is for people that understand Bitcoin. This is for people that realize that this is the most pristine, soundest, hardest, fairest asset that we've ever seen in the history of the financial markets. And you want to accumulate a lot of it. This is for you. So you're starting the positive 0.15 Bitcoin, right? You're going to be earning 60% per month. That's 2% per day, right? That's what you're going to be earning. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to put two years and six months. That's two and a half years, right? The compound interval, we get to compound every six months. So that's twice a year, okay? All right, so you see that 0.15 is your Bitcoin deposit in this strategy. You're rolling it over every six months for two and a half years to get to the desired result. You're earning 60% per month. Let's hit calculate. And you will see in two and a half years that you will be holding 308 Bitcoin in your portfolio. Now, here's the really, really interesting question that you have to ask yourself. <laughs> this is the fun part, right? What do you think the Bitcoin price point will be in two and a half years? What do you think it'll be, right? Now, we already said that we know this thing is going to get to 100,000. It's really not even a question at this point. I remember back in the day when we were all amped to get to a $1,000 Bitcoin and then a 2,000 Bitcoin, and then a 3,000 Bitcoin. And then when we hit 10,000, it was like, oh, man, uh, the pearly gates had opened up, right? We're sitting at that same type of energy now with this $100,000 Bitcoin, right? But ask yourself, do you think in two and a half years, do you think, you know, Bitcoin will be trading at 100,000 per coin? I do. I believe it will be trading for a lot more than 100,000 per coin. But let's just be conservative and say Bitcoin will be trading for 100,000 per coin once I'm done with my strategy. And in two and a half years, I'll have 308 Bitcoin that I could sell in the open market for 100,000 a piece. So let's take 308 times 100,000. Let's see what we get. Wow, we have a portfolio now worth 30 million, 30.8 million, right? In liquidity in our own personal portfolio if we chose to sell all of the 308 Bitcoin or maybe you only want to cash out on a, on a little bit maybe just a hundred of your Bitcoin 100 times 100,000 yeah 10 million right and you can keep the other 208 and uh, maybe you transfer that to uh, your children's children, children, and you just keep your family wealthy for generations and generations and generations. That is the video, family. Do your research, do your due diligence, uh, study up. You're only going to get one shot at this thing. You're only going to get one shot, right? Take advantage of it. If you see that it resonates with you, get all the information that you need to get out of the description of this video. And I will see you in my next video. All right, bless up.